hello students welcome to mr study and welcome to my class today i am giving you some idea related to the chapter that is ionic equilibrium okay this is a chapter generally in ionic equilibrium you consider electrolyte electrolyte that is aqueous solution of acids base and salts generally acid base and salts okay because there is a dissociation that ionization of acid base and salt take place acids are of two type so we have two type of electrolyte one is a strong electrolyte yes the second one is weak electrolyte yes a strong electrolyte complete dissociation take place and weak electrolyte that is partial dissociation take place in case of bases also we have the uh, strong base and weak uh, base similar so uh, in case of acid base and salt we have a strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte generally ostpal we we consider the weak electrolyte theory of weak electrolysis because the re, uh, in this cases uh, that is appreciable amount of reactant are also present in com strong electrolyte complete dissociation complete ionization take place so in this case uh, equilibrium cannot be established okay uh, suppose if i write that is suppose i am taking a acid ha it dissociate ha plus h2o it gives you hydronium ion plus a minus this is the behavior of acid in this case the equilibrium constant k will be equal to h3 o plus concentration into a minus concentration upon h a into h2o pure solid and pure liquid had concentration always taken as one so what we have k is equal to h3 o plus ion concentration into a minus concentration upon h a okay h3o plus means h plus this is acid so the equilibrium constant can be represented like this ka similarly in case of base that is we have boh plus h2o that mean to say hydroxyl ion that is you can write like this boh aqueous this is the other way to represent b plus and oh minus completely yes sir now in this case what will happen k will be equal to b plus into oh minus upon boh that is this is a base we will put here kb am i right yes now uh, <coughs> next derivation the next derivation what we observe suppose if we consider a acid ha okay it gives you h plus hydro, uh, h plus ion and a minus now when time t is equal to 0 concentration is c 0 and 0 and time t is equal to t equilibrium we will write c minus c alpha c alpha and c alpha alpha is degree of ionization yes now ka will be equal to h plus that is c alpha into c alpha upon c 1 minus alpha yes sir now what will happen this will cancel this one ka is equal to c alpha square upon 1 minus alpha now we know if the electrolyte this is the theory of weak electrolysis uh, uh, this is a weak electrolyte that is the degree of ionization is very less that is alpha is very very less than 1 so 1 minus alpha will be equal to 1 so in this case what do we observe we observe uh, moving here moving here ka is equal to c alpha square or k upon c is equal to alpha square that is alpha is equal to root under k a upon c root under k a upon c this is the case alpha is equal to root under k upon c similarly we for base we will write here alpha is equal to root under k b upon c am i right yes now we know here the h plus ion concentration is equal to c alpha and ph is equal to we know minus log h plus ion concentration so we will write here ph is equal to minus log c alpha that ph is equal to next explanation minus log c alpha is equal to root under k a upon c now what we observe ph is equal to minus log root under k a into c k a into c this is the case this is the different derivation clear yes sir now similarly we know 
पी एच इज इक्वल टू माइनस लॉग एच प्लस आयन कंसेंट्रेशन एंड पी ओ एच इज इक्वल टू माइनस लॉग ओ एच माइनस आयन कंसेंट्रेशन क्लियर पी एच इज इक्वल टू माइनस लॉग एच प्लस आयन कंसेंट्रेशन एंड पी ओ एच इज इक्वल टू माइनस लॉग ओ एच माइनस आयन कंसेंट्रेशन यस सर नाउ पी एच प्लस पी ओ एच ऑलवेज इक्वल टू 14. Clear to you. pH is equal to uh, pH plus pOH is equal to always 14 because when we consider H2O at neutral condition, H plus and OH minus. In this case, H plus and O equal to OH minus concentration overall will be equal to 10 to the power minus 14. Uh, oh, 10 to the power minus 7. Sorry, pardon. At uh, room temperature, that is H plus into OH minus concentration that is equal to 10 to the power minus 14. Take log both side. Log H plus plus log OH minus is equal to minus 14. Yes, minus will come here. What we observe minus log H plus ion concentration plus minus log OH minus ion concentration equal to 14. We are minus log H plus equal to pH plus pOH that will be equal to 14. These are the general derivation we observe. Yes, sir. Now, um, now we have relation K into KB relation also. Uh, and then we have buffer solution the type of solution the type of solution which resist the resist any change in ph clear we have two type of generally buffer first of all acidic buffer yes sir the second one is we have basic buffer and third one is buffer of a single substance buffer of single substance we have yes sir now acidic buffer acidic buffer that is weak acid like cs3cwh and salt of weak acid and strong acid this is example of acidic buffer basic buffer weak base and the salt of weak base and strong acid like nh4 buffer of the single substance salt of weak acid and weak base cs3cwo nh4 am i right yes sir now uh, to find the ph of acidic and basic buffer we have henderson equation what we have we have henderson equation henderson's equation henderson equation is it clear to you yes acidic buffer and uh, basic buffer henderson equation now in this case what we observe ph is equal to pka plus log salt concentration upon acid concentration for acidic buffer or for basic buffer poh is equal to pkb plus log salt upon base by using this method you can solve the problem related to the buffer solution clear yes now we have the next point that is salt hydrolysis salt hydrolysis that is the reverse of uh, neutralization reaction but in this case we will say we get cation from base like uh, nacl nacl uh, or better to write like this na2co3 okay this cation na comes from naoh and this co3 comes from base okay so the we have uh, we get cation from base and we get anion from acid the interaction of cation and anion that is suppose we are write that is a uh, b suppose ha a minus plus h2o it gives you ha uh, pardon okay interaction salt hydrolysis a minus plus h2o that is we get uh, ha h plus and oh minus that is this interaction uh, suppose uh, this is a uh, cation uh, we get from uh, this is an anion we get from acid then if the solution if the salt is wait for a moment before discussing this type of salt suppose salt is first of all completely neutral salt neutral salt that is salt of strong acid and strong base Yes, salt of a strong acid and a strong base. This is the first type of salt. Second type is acidic salt. 
एसिडिक सॉल्ट दैट इज सॉल्ट ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड एंड वीक बेस यस सॉल्ट ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड एंड वीक बेस द थर्ड वन इज द थर्ड वन इज वी हैव द बेसिक सॉल्ट इज इट क्लियर टू यू यस बेसिक सॉल्ट इज सॉल्ट ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस एंड वीक एसिड अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग सॉल्ट ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस एंड वीक एसिड salt of strong base and weak basic that is the basic salt okay now in this case uh, we have salt of weak acid and weak base this is a salt of weak acid and weak base for example we have uh, c double o cs3 c double o nh4 okay now suppose if i consider the acidic salt the salt of strong acid for example uh, scl plus nh4 oh that is it gives you nh4 cl plus h2o now we take this is a uh, solution will be acidic because acidic acid dominant it will like this nh4 plus cl uh, minus NH4 plus Cl minus. Now we take the cation from here. NH4 plus H2O. It forms that is NH4 OH plus releases H plus ion. This H plus ion make the solution acidic. Now if I take the uh, basic salt. Uh, suppose if I consider Na2CO3 or Na Na2CO3. Na2CO3. Now it will dissociate like this. Uh, Na2CO3 we take Na plus and CO3 two minus now anionic part plus H2O it gives you H2CO3 plus OH minus that is this OH minus make the solution basic by using this we can find the pH of any uh, solution like uh, uh, we cannot find the pH of neutral salt because complete neutralization take place we can find the pH for acidic salt basic salt and uh, salt of strong acid and uh, salt of weak acid and weak base and maximum number of questions uh, are asked from uh, this topic is very simple but for, uh, first of all you have to write down the expression k expression kb and kh expression clear to you yes sir so i hope you are familiar with this type of topic topic will help you while, while uh, solving the numericals clear now my friend time has come time to say bye bye thank you so much